What's good, y'all? It's your boy Nino and your man D. Hicks behind the camera broadcasting live down here at the Fall Fest for your morning radio show on Live 99. And we're out here in front of booth number 114 for the Outboard Boating Club. And I got my man Scott out here. And I'm telling you, I had to bring my man D. down here for the world-famous Pool Pork Parfait. And I'm, t- <laughs> I'm telling you. So how, how long have you guys been down here in, uh, participating in the Fall Fest? This is our seventh year. Seven years? Yes, sir. All right. And who came up with the recipe? We actually had a lady down in uh, in our boat club that just was uh, researching kind of odd foods. She came up with this. Jeff Shellhorn, the guy that owns Hog and Sauce, we uh-huh. approached him. And he jumped on board with us, and uh, we've we've taken it to. We like to think we perfected this. We kind of took it to oh, a new level. Oh yeah, I come down here every. I've been coming down. I've been living down here in Evansville since 2003. Heard about the Fall Fest in 2004. I actually started working at the radio station when I got here in about 2009. When I got here in about 2012, I think I first finally tried. I think that's probably when y'all first started. Doing it, I came and tried the pool port parfait, and I was hooked. We used to post up right here on the corner on purpose every year just so I could be close to booth number one or thing because it was always the first one I wanted to go to. So, I mean, do you actually, God, I can see you actually do, but do you have uh, any other like specialties that you do other than the pool port? This year, we decided to do uh, barbecue burnt ends. Which, what are those? Oh, it's it's basically it is it's it's pork belly. And it's and it, we put it in barbecue sauce, and it's it's basically bacon heaven. Can we try one of those? You want to show what, what they look like? Absolutely. We'll uh, I'll step aside real quick, and I'll get you one. Okay. Real quick. Come on around here, D. Got my man D Hicks in the building, coming back from around the camera. So yeah, I mean, we stopped down here at Booth One Four Ten. Now you tasted that pulled pork. Yes. I mean, the pulled pork part. Hey, now was I lying? Man, it's a ten on the scale. I'm telling you, why you got it with the out. corn too? I though. thought that I had the corn to it, man. So that's what brought the flavor out with it. So as you can see on the menu, they have one with the corn. That's the one that D got right there. And then they got one without the corn, and you got you can add it up. They got the loaded one. I guess it doesn't have beans or have they, you know, mix it up. But now they added the new burnt ends. That Scott was just telling you right now. I didn't. I've never seen that before. I don't know what those are. I guess we're about to find out what those are. But I right. mean, it's all kind of stuff going down here at the Fall Fest. But this is just one of my absolute favorite booths right here, the Barbecue Pool Pork yes, Parfait. How, right. how many years have you been coming down here to the... About four years. About, but like have, I said, I did skip a couple years because I was out of town. Right, right, right. And then moved back. And so this is my year before last, of course, we didn't have it. But then now, here I am. So what's your must-have food when you come down here to the Fall Fest? My favorite food is the tenderloin. The Texas tenderloin? The Texas tenderloin, and but not- now I'm sold on a... On a pulled pork parfait. Now, when it comes to the tenderloin, this is an Evansville thing. I'm from Chicago. Oh, I'm Scott with the. With yeah, the- maybe he. I tell you what, Nino. I'm gonna let him answer the question because I think this is a question that he may be able to answer. Come on around. Come on around. His Scott and pass all his head on my. Now, this is what you was talking about. The the burnt ends. The burnt ends. They are fantastic. Look at that right there. Nice. And I like a lot. I like char on mine. I don't know about y'all. A lot of people don't like char on their barbecue and things oh, like it's, that. It's good smoke. Now, it's what's the idea char. behind this? Well, we had uh, my son-in-law. He baked those for us down in our boat club one day, uh-huh. and we loved them. We contacted Hog and Sauce. Corey, my, my son-in-law, helped us out with those things. It's a Hog and Sauce recipe, and we just put it together, and I'm try it. I Is wanna, that this, this year? Y'all just started selling we, this? We did it last year. We, since we didn't have a festival, we right. tried it. We set up at Catalyst Church. Uh-huh. They were nice enough to allow us to come down there. And guys, We set it up. They went over like gangbusters, so we thought we would bring it down here. And my my son in law, my daughter, and they are they're working, they're helping out with hog and sauce, and they are just they're cooking away. And now, I'm gonna let you know, I'm the rib guy, and hog and sauce is one of my favorites. They used to cater to us all the time, bring food and that. So I'm gonna let you know, I'm not, I'm never disappointed with the pulled pork parfait. So I'll, let's let's see what the the burnt ends do. Mmm. Oh, D. <laughs> oh, D. Oh, they're, they're, you got to try one. If, 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 I guess, a chicken nugget was barbecue, with, I mean, and it's tender. It's heaven, stuff, it, it's heaven in your mouth. You know what I mean? Right oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. So come, there you go. I want a very small piece. I'm going to give another parfait. 
Thank you. Yeah. So come on down here, Booth 114. It's right on the corner of Rome, 12th. I mean, excuse me, what is this? 11th uh, and Franklin. 11th. Doing 11th and Franklin Street, Booth number 114, the perfectionist of the pool port part. It's other booths down here trying to imitate and trying to put their little spin on them. No, these are the masters right here down here at the Outboard Boating Club, Booth number 114. The best thing about our club, we charge this a flat fee, but we give you free corn. Free beans or free bean and corns because we love our customers. Outstanding. We, hey. We've got 31 charities that we donate to, and we want everybody to come down. We're also, in, in if, if anybody hears this, the officer that was shot down in Poseyville. Right. We are collecting money f this Friday from, I believe it's 12 to 1. We're going to donate 100% of our proceeds to help out him and his family. We have a donation jar here. People are coming up, they're supporting it, and that's what we need to do. We need to help out our, our fellow citizens, especially someone as brave as that man. And it, it, Outstanding. That's a beautiful thing absolutely. right there. So definitely come on down here and support booth number 114, the Outboard Boating Club out here on the corner of 11th and Franklin Street. Me and D going to be broadcasting out here all morning long for the next couple of afternoon long <laughs> for the next couple of hours. You know what I mean? So come on down here and say hi. Get you to a pulled pork park bay or get you some of these burnt ends. I'm telling you, they're absolutely delicious. Appreciate it, Scott. Hey, we thank you guys. Thank you.